Hello guys, Sujara speaking. Welcome to Bedtime Stories, episode number um 112. Originally I was gonna read you um Arthur Jump in the Fall today, but I decided to read you Arthur Turns Green today. So let's read it now. So we got shall we? So we got. Now I'm gonna borrow this one hour, and this might be the last bedtime stories book based off of Arthur. For now, because after this, I'll be reading your next book. I mean, to read you to all. It's basically Arthur, not Arthur Lane, but basically something else, okay? The bedtime stories, okay? Okay, anyway. Arthur Turns Gray by Mark Brown. I did borrow from one hour, so here we go. It's, okay, there we go. Arthur. Turns Green by Mark Brown, Little Brown Company, New York and Boston. Here we go. Copyright 21 by Mark Brown. Okay, that makes more sense. Anyway, um, Arthur's class was working in the school garden when Mr. Rathburn began to explain their next class project, okay? Let's call it the big brick green machine, he said. Your job is to find ways to make our plant plant a better place to live. That one I never seen. But anyway, uh, we'll present all of our ide your ideas into a, at a school family night. I have to agree with Arthur and Mr. Br Miss, Mr. Rapper at this point. Yeah, those stories look different than the ones you saw in the bedtime stories episode. Um, the Arthur's last book. Next page. Anyway, on the way to home from school. Okay. Arthur and his friends talk about their projects, okay? I'm thinking garbage, said Buster, because I love um, food. My number one favorite food is pizza. Anyway, when, and when you don't eat food, it turns into garbage. Ugh. Anyway, so maybe I need to eat more. Hmm. And I'm, telling, I'm sell, so selling, they're going to sell all my old clothes so other than can people... Can use them, said Muffy. So that I can buy new clothes, okay? I'm going to collect soda cans and to return them but for deposit, said Binky. I can use money to say polar bears. Wow, okay. Makes more difference, huh, Binky? What's your pride you offer? His friends asked. Offer the small, you'll see, he said. Next page. Anyway. At home. Arthur walk around around the house and he turns the page of the W's pages. But anyway, um, making notes and turn turn about himself. Is that a new computer that was you saw last episode? As you saw during the previous episode, the bed bedtime stories episode, computer cat Jabers episode. I mean, during that time, yes, you saw um, you didn't saw the um, let's say the 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 Back then, you had something older Mac Mint or computer when you saw a computer chamber episode of Bedtime Stories. But nowadays, you just saw the the Mac Mint or Mac computer. You see, the Mac computer you saw back in, in, in 2011. But that's just me. Anyway, why are you acting like weirder than usual? Asked DW. The big green machine was all Arthur said. As he unplugged his mom's cell phone charger. Why bother? Jeez. Next page. Anyway. Oh, man. Anyway. After dinner, Arthur changed the light bulbs. Anyway. At three lamps. And the bulbs to save energy. Yeah, I have to agree. Yeah. At bedtime, he took the shortest shower ever. And shut the water off while he brushed his teeth. Okay. So that makes more difference. Anyway. Then Arthur came to say goodnight to DW. And turned off the lights. While she was still in green Fluffy, the very special unicorn. Why bother? I mean, is that a Maisie doll? I don't know. In her, in her in DW shelf? I don't know. We'll just see. Next page. Anyway. The next day, and, and that was the our Big Buster's uh, clothing. Kind of reminds me of, of um, Postcards and Buster's difference. Anyway, uh, Arthur's friends 
stay after school to work on this project, okay? Is that a picture of your house? Wow. Ask Buster, okay? Yes, they offer. Finally, the things I can do to save energy in almost ro every room. Okay, then. Makes more sense now. Anyway, next page. Anyway. Well, it's her gray. Yeah, well, what a difference. Anyway, I was late for dinner. Why bother? You owe me big time, says EW. Um, I have to set the table, and that's your job. Sorry, said Arthur. I have to deal with the big green machine at school. Jeez. Then DW knows Arthur's green hands. That machine's turned Arthur green. Arthur green, she thought. Wow. I didn't know that coming from those green. Yeah. Back, you see my walls, you know? They turn green, especially LJP's BM green. Make your own difference, Remix is watching this. Next page. Anyway. At bedtime, uh, DW found lots of new plants, okay? In a room, okay? She heard odd noises coming from the garage. Um, uh, okay. A shallow figure from sneaking through the yard. Things are going really creepy around here, she thought. Jeez. Next page. Anyway. And uh, kind of reminds me, uh, and these drawings, typically twins are human beings, kind of remind me of. But these two, well, one of them is a dog, the other one's an art uh, I'm not going to say anything racist, but anyway. But this is kind of, these two are human beings. If you haven't saw my episode of, of Arthur's Basin episode, Bedtime Stories, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, the next one at preschool. DW worried about Arthur. Yeah, I have to agree. Yeah. There's a big machine that's turned my brother green. Elsh green, that is. DW told her friends. Wow. You're making that up, said Tommy and Timmy. I am not, said DW. Come over to my house after school and see with yourselves. Next page. Anyway. Um, later that afternoon. Uh, Buster helped Arthur and, uh, and his dad work in the garden. Please. Anyway, um, you met the real green farm, Arthur, said Dad. Um, as well as I, uh, Joe Buster. I'm still green from working on our projects. Yeah, it's not easy being green from Jim Henson Muppets. Wow, said Tommy. Arthur really is turning green. Look, said Timmy. So is Buster. Okay, makes more difference now. Somehow this big green machine turns everything green, said DW. Why even, is that even possible? Next page, anyway. At dinner, Arthur set, set the table for cloth napkins, okay? Set of paper ones, okay? When his family was finished eating, he checked his watch, okay? Time to go, he said. Go where? asked D.W. Dad's helping us with the big green machine at school. Arthur explained. You are joking, right, D.W.? Why bother? See you later, alligator, said Dad. Oh, no, thought D.W. Not Dad as well. Why bother? You're, you're going to stay right here, Arthur. I mean, D.W. Jeez. Anyway. Excuse me. But anyway, that night, DW dreamed about a big green machine that ran into turning everyone green. Why bother getting everything green like the monster? Bakey, Francine, Buster, Arthur, Scrabble 4, Brain, uh, DW, uh, Mom, Dad, Kate, Pal, Muffy, and Dad. Why bother? Anyway, okay. Then it started chasing her. She woke up just in time. Thank God. Next page. Anyway. A horrible nightmare, wasn't it? When she uh, went down from breakfast, okay, DW gasped, okay. Dan's ha hands were green as well. Tonight's a family night at school. 
said Arthur. Hmm, okay. I'll show you how we, how we can have a big green machine right here at home. Hmm. I can't go, declared D.W. I feel sick, real sick. You have to, D.W. Gotta do something. Next page. Anyway. But the W did have they have a temperature. So that night the whole family went to Harvard School. Just before we went out in, the W suddenly grabbed Arthur's arm. Why bother? Help me, cry Arthur. I mean DW, excuse me. I don't want to get a big green machine turn me green. As well. It's not what you think, said Arthur. Follow me. Yeah. Stay at the plant. And yes, next month will be Earth Day. Thank you very much, please. Next page. Anyway. The big green machine um is just a bit name of our class project. Anyway. Um it's about a, uh a thing we can do to save the planet, said Arthur. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh well, why did you just say so, said DW. Small smiled and gave Arthur a hug. Hmm. Then you better read our proposal out loud. Yeah, the energy was make more sense. Why bother not using it? It's re it's recycling. Jeez. No, I well, don't not, but you know, back at home, made the met dad made ice cream sundays. Anyway. Then it was time for bed. Arthur and D.W. turn off the water table. Water wall. They brush their teeth. It's so funny that you thought the big green machine was to turn everything green. Arthur laughed. That, yeah, that was pretty funny, agreed D.W. Hmm. You had a good point, Arthur and D.W. Thank you. Next page. Anyway. Suddenly, everything went dark. Hey, said Arthur, who turned off the light? I did, said D.W. with a giggle. Looks like I'm turning green as well. What if it turns green, especially LGBM logo? And in fact, the LGBM logo is green. LGBM, LGBM logo background is green. The whole LGBM logo is green. Let's say, ever since the, big, the very beginning, 2007, and the the text was was black uh, back in the early days, but it was white. I mean, yellow and blue in your in later days. But then remix turned into a black and white co gray color. You know, but I don't know what to do next. Let's just see what happens. But we're gonna keep the gray where it is. So that was our returns gray. I think Mark Brown did an excellent job reading. Those type of books. What do I think about um, Arthur Turns Green? I think this is the last Arthur Adventure book. I think this might be the last one I'll be reading about Arthur for right now. Until um, probably next year. Because at the time, yes, um, last month Arthur was cancelled. You know. And they just recently not aired. And new episodes anymore, you know, because once Arthur's gone, the show is gone. Then you know the show will be canceling by now. You know, when the show ends, you know I want to say thank you for the time being to make Arthur's show more interesting. You know, I want to see more of that after twenty five seasons, but no, I want to record more Arthur episodes. All 25 seasons are not, you know. So I want to record that and then revive that, these 25 seasons record. So, not new episodes, but maybe record all 25 episodes in a way. Before PBS decided to not do it forever. But that's just me. If that was the Bedtime Stories episode number 112, I'm saying for the last time, for the party's sakes, thank you all for the great memories. My childhood, my memories, just before, this might be before I watched PBS and the late Jim Ware, and you got me the best memories I had in my life 
And yeah. Thank you all great memories, Mark Brown. Anyway. For real this time, that was the Bedtime Stories episode number 112. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next one. It's going to be another Bedtime Stories episode. I'm not sure what's next for Bedtime Stories. But you have to wait and find out. Till next time, this is Jackson Bye, Peace of Baby. We got more bedtime stories, guys, by Sue. Till my out. See ya.